Hi, welcome to my channel, Reader Woman. My name's Judy. Let's talk book hauls. I couldn't resist. I got nervous and realized that I had not yet purchased the latest Harold Bloom book, Possessed by Memory, The Inward Light of Criticism. I haven't gotten very far in it, but it's a lot of poetry. And it really made me think about, I mean, it starts off um, where, you know, he's, he's old. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as I near the end of my 80s, I am aware of being in the elegy season. The majority of my close friends from my own generation have departed. I am haunted by many passages in Wallace Stevens, and one that I keep hearing centers his extraordinary poem, The Course of a Particular. And though one says that one is part of everything, there is a conflict, there is a resistance involved, and being part is an in exertion that declines. One feels the life of that which gives life as it is. Um, what it really reminded me of um, was an Anthony Burgess novel, which I did not get down to show you because it's not part of the hall, but uh, Earthly Powers. One of the takeaways that I took from that novel, and it was um, one of those sweeping novels, um, and it was interesting to me because it was taking the life of someone from, you know, their early years, college and earlier, to old age. And the character in old age said that there were certain words that, you know, just saying it would bring tears to his eyes. And like the word home. <sighs> Which I've always liked that idea. I am a sentimentalist and I understand that just like certain tastes, certain smells, certain seasons can bring memories back, so can certain words. And particularly when you don't have a home in the sense that you have a home as a child, a place where you feel safe, where you're loved, where you're cared for. Um, you know, as we get older, uh, they're harder to find. And so I, I really think that this book will be his reflection on um, where where his mind takes us. Um, he ha has read so many things and I really look forward to reading this book. I've missed a few of his books, I have to say. Um, I had started off with How to Read and Why. I'm like, what the heck? Why do I need to know how to read? Um, but I really enjoyed that so much. I went back and I bought his previous book, Shakespeare, The Invention of the Human, which really should be a must read for anyone who reads Shakespeare. And then I went on to um, read um, Stories and Poems for Extremely Intelligent Children of All Ages, which I really enjoyed. Um, Genius. A mosaic of 100 exemplary creative minds, which was great. Hamlet, Poem Unlimited. I haven't really read that, but I do. I did buy it. Um, I missed, oh no, I do have that. The Best Poems of the English Language from Chaucer through Frost, uh, which is really good for me. I tend not to read poetry, so anytime that it gets shoved in my face is a good thing. And the last one that I bought, where shall wisdom be found? Um, what I find, I don't necessarily agree with everything Harold Bloom says. However, I admire his commitment to the Western canon and to 
giving us what he feels is the most important works for us. I don't know about you, but for me, I, I read, but until I really hit uh, college, I just read what I wanted. You know, there were a few books I had to read for school. Um, there's no doubt about it, but I usually enjoyed reading them y anyways. Not all of them, but mostly. Um, but then doing that, there was no real focus on, oh, I'm reading the right books. And the right books, I mean, in the sense of someone who loves literature, you need to read da 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 or expand in this way or that way. So while I have read uh, quite a few um, pieces of great literature, um, I don't know that I feel that I have a the breadth that I would like to have had. And, uh, and that brings me to my <laughs> next purchase. <gasps> James Mustache's thousand books to read <laughs> before you die <laughs> I I couldn't resist I purchased this uh, for my sister my custer in uh, California um, for Christmas and then I was so sad because I didn't have a copy and I really wanted a copy so I got a copy <laughs> And it's a brilliant book. I had no idea how brilliant. It has photos. Um, I just, yeah, I'm very happy. Um, I do plan on going through this and maybe not picking up all thousand, but, you know, trying to figure out here, um, what books I feel like I need to uh, to reread or read for the first time um, without feeling like I've not done my reading work. <laughs> so I was very excited to add this to my library. I uh, I wish I had. No, I don't know what I wish. Um, oh, I know what I wish. <laughs> I wish I'd have bought them on Amazon rather rather than going to um, Barnes and Noble. But it was a whim. It was just you know I needed I needed to uh, get them, <laughs> so I didn't spend the time to order them, which would have been a better financial decision. Um, also, on my list of things that I've uh, bought, just bought here recently, um, a, uh, oh gosh, let's see here, I doubt if I'll get a picture up for you, oh wait a minute, um, oh, and then it goes to my reading, okay, sorry, um, a picture of murder, a Lady Hardcastle mystery, book four, um, and let's see if I can, I forgot who the, uh, T.E. Kinsey. Yeah, Kinsey, not Kinsley. Um, it's cute. <sighs> Do I recommend it? Nah. But I've read one, two, and three. It's about Lady Hardcastle, um, who, and it's set in the early 1900s. 1908, 1910, somewhere in there. It's definitely before World War I. Um, and she and her maid, Armstrong, um, have retired to this lovely country, country uh, village, hoping to live the slow life. And um, that doesn't happen. There's murders everywhere. So uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third series of murders, and my gosh, I'm halfway through, and there's already been three murders, so <laughs> the village isn't that big. <laughs> Somebody better be caught soon, um, but it is kind of, it's it's charming, it's it's a, uh, it ha it's humorous, 
and um, it's a little different look at the time. The other one that I have purchased, uh, which is for my book club, which I have to get done in the next couple of weeks, um, is by Colson Whitehead, uh, The Underground Railroad, which I'm very excited to read. Um, this was the uh, Pulitzer Prize winning novel for I believe it was 2016 or 2017. I'm not quite sure. Um, and uh, I, I, I really like the idea of the historical kind of merged with uh, the fantastical. So treating the Underground Railroad as an actual railway, uh, I thought was very creative. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And one last book that I got, um, it was my free Amazon book of the month. <laughs> and it is, um, let's see here, let me see if I can get, uh, Kelly Harms, um, The Overdue Life of Amy Byler. Hopefully, that's the cover. And um, humorous look, got a mother I don't know um, it wasn't my first choice but um, I look forward to reading it it sounded fairly light and right now I think after uh, the Underground Railroad I'll probably need something fairly light so I thought that would be a good palate cleanser so that is the end of my book haul for the moment and um, what are you reading I'd love to know Put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, hope you're having a great day and we will talk books again soon. Bye.